Good morning, good morning. Like I say, I work seven days a week. This is Free Mind, Free People. Art and activism, all right? I selected for the do I'm selected to be a part of this. And part of my activism is toilets. Alright? Part of my activism at this event is toilets. It's proactive activism. Call it potty training politicians. We're gonna put issues that affect our community in this program. And we're gonna use toilets as our tapestry. That's gonna be our canvas. All right. I'm an independent filmmaker, and I'm an artist. All right. That's me. I'm also an entrepreneur, a barbecue guy, part of the Baltimore Block. But with everything that's going on now, with all the cuts that you got going on with the schools and the lunch programs and the things that are affecting the underclass in America. I think that this art project is going to be about Donald Trump and the administration. So I'm going to bring a lot of Trump issues to the forefront. Potty training politicians. It's time to pee. You're going to see a lot of Donald Trump. You're going to see a lot of toilets around Baltimore. I'm known in Baltimore. And y'all made me famous for all the wrong reasons. So I'm taking a negative and turning it into a positive. You made me famous for these toilets. Well, these toilets were just props for a movie called Letters Design. And that toilet I left in front of the Towson Courthouse was about exposing the corruption in the courts and the way that the media demonizes black men in America. Give you a history moment, Mr. President. I am Dred Scott. Blacks have no rights in which white America respect. You can go to Senator Sessions' office, now your Attorney General, and we can put this on the table because my end objective through my proactive activism is a day in the Supreme Court. We're going to take step by step until we get to the mountaintop. And we're going to use these cases in the Supreme Court to show that blacks have no rights. Would you just lock us up for any reason at all? It's a statement for the police. Like I told you, all when I started this in 2006, I was policing the police. I've been policing the police since 2006 and I got it all on film. I got everything I need. I told you about them dirty cops back in 2006 with that stop snitching video. I put that stop snitching video in and gave you judges names. And I showed you how the Department of Justice destroyed evidence. And I showed you how Commissioner Davis got evidence so we don't have no misunderstandings about nothing I do. See, you use a toilet for a lot of things. A toilet don't give you black, white, straight, or gay. A toilet take your shit every day. You understand? So we're just gonna talk shit with Shorty. A toilet is like public accommodations. So we're gonna use the Constitution to show you how I am Dred Scott, where you take black fathers away from black families and you wanna blame us for the ills in the black community. We're gonna go through the Constitution and show you how you do what you do. I'm gonna show you what being black and white America is because none of these laws work for us, but you use these laws against us, and it's in black and white. So we're gonna go through the Constitution, and we're gonna show where our government officials, and I'm gonna show you all the government officials that had knowledge of this prior to me getting locked up in 2011. I got you on, I got everything I need, my paperwork is there. I'm showing you how you set up the prison industry where you coerce blacks and take them away from their families. I'm gonna show you about the bail cash system. I'm gonna show you about the money in the courts. And all I'm gonna do is just use this to do it. Perfectly legal. And it's gonna be tied to the president because you want more police in our communities. You wanna make our community safe. Well, let's talk about the prison industry and how you making America rich. You making America great again? No, you making America hate again. I am Dred Scott. Call it potty training politicians. And believe you me, people pay attention. And we're going to do it at this program.
Free mind, free people. It's a workshop. I'm running a workshop. The workshop is going to be about making America great again. Perfectly legal. And I'm going to use toilets to do it. Artwork, proactive activism. It's a protest issue. It's the art of protest. Do blacks have rights in America in which white America has respect? Well, we're about to find out because this was submitted in 2008. It was about Dred Scott. All right? 2008 it was submitted. Long before I got locked up. Taking me away from my family. All about a toilet. Time to teach you a lesson about black history. I am Dred Scott. Have your movie film producer, your, your second and your chief of staff, look up Dred Scott, because I'm going to show you that you're making America great again. Dred Scott made America great because Dred Scott was the catalyst that they used for the Civil War. All right? We wanted to show that blacks have rights in America, which white people got to respect. Well, Dred Scott still exists. You're taking us away from our black families and you want to put more police in the community. Well, we're going to put an end to this. You want to send those cops to jail? Then Rod Rosenstein and Commissioner Davis, y'all need to send those politicians to jail too. The judges, the lawyers, and the politicians that are getting paid to enslave our black community. It's a statement for the police. It's the art of protest. Y'all going to see toilets and tourism. And Donald Trump. You're going to see a lot of Donald Trumps and a lot of toilets in Baltimore. Congressman Cummings' office, parole and probation. Everywhere I put a toilet before, you're going to see a toilet again. And it's going to be about our black families. I don't need a million people to march. I'm going to see if a million people pay attention to the art of protest. Because I am Dred Scott. <laughs>